you are the best person watching us right now. We really appreciate you for coming back. God bless you. Today's recipe is something to whet your appetite. Tilapia light soup and fufu is what we are preparing today. Stick and stay as we take you through the process. Remember when we used to have fun with these games in the village? Oh yes, we are bringing back memories to life today. Our girls play Go. happily together Go. as we make ready for today's recipe. <laughs> Grandpa's creation of today's stove is on a different level. He uses the stem of a plantain and a stick to create today's cooking stove and I bet this is so interesting. Our boy begins to learn how to weed. Grandpa cuts the stick and hits it into the plantain stem. The kids watch grandpa closely because this is very new to them and they are really exploring with how our fathers used to live with the help of grandpa. God bless you grandpa. One of our girls tried her hands on weeding. Weed well, weed well. Then legally. Grandpa harvests the cassava for today's fufu. And our boy is seen along the path with the tilapia. And our girls and grandpa follows up with the other ingredients and utensils. Grandpa digs holes and fix the plantain stems into it. We wash the plantain leaves and introduce our ingredients. Today's ingredients are tilapia fish, tomatoes, tomato paste, onions, beef, natural spices, garlic and ginger, okra or okra, red and green pepper. Today's ingredients are ready for action. Grandpa sets the firewoods into the stove. We tidy the compound. Bring in chairs and make everything set for today's food process.
we fetch water into the calabash. Our boy runs happily to meet Grandpa at the farm to harvest more cassava. Grandpa lights up the fire. Our boy brings in the chair to his sister. We wash the tomatoes, onions, pepper, garlic, ginger and turkey berries and begin to grind the garlic and ginger. Our boy is doing so well, he brings in the plantain to his sister for peeling. Put a pot on fire, pour water into it and put the ingredients into the pot and cover to boil.
We add the natural spices to the grinding garlic and ginger and continue to grind. Slice onions into the grinding ingredients and keep grinding. Add salt and grind together. We bring in the coal pot and set fire into it. Pour water onto the tilapia fish, wash and cut into smaller sizes. Garnish up the tilapia with the grinded ginger and garlic and natural spices. The ingredients on fire begins to boil. We take it off the fire, put another pot on it and pour water into it. Shake very well, cover and leave the tilapia in the calabash for some time. Wash the cassava and plantain. Check the steaming meat on fire. Put the boiled onions, pepper and other ingredients into the earthenware bowl and begin to grind. Wash a plantain leaf, 
and cover the cassava and plantain with it. We check the steaming meat, pour water into the grinded ingredients, drain it, Drain it again into the pot on fire, add water and cover to boil. Add the tomato paste to the soup. Check the cassava and plantain. Take it off the fire and strain the water out from it. Wash the mortar, pour the cassava into the calabash and begin to pound the plantain first. Check the tilapia fish, shake and add to the soup on fire. Wash the okra and pepper and continue to pound the fufu. Pound the fufu till it's mixed very well and softened. We check the soup and it's boiling so well. We add the pepper and okra and cover to keep boiling. Stir gently to avoid the fish from tearing apart. This looks so yummy and delicious. 
I hope you would like to try this food recipe. Keep watching. We now teach our little boy how to pound fufu. This is so beautiful. Work and happiness mood activated. We mix the pounded cassava and plantain very well. Make sure it's softened and begin to serve it into an earthenware bowl. Check and add salt to the soup and stir gently. Cover to continue boiling and voila! Our food is now ready for consumption. We serve the soup onto the various fufu, serve grandpa and begin to enjoy.
Thank you so much for having time to watch us till now. Kindly subscribe, like, share and leave your comments. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Much love to you. God bless you for watching. We